Well, first, I'd just like to say thank you to all of you for being here. Um, the amount of support that I've received within the last 24 hours has truly been incredible. Um, you know, so many people just reaching out, uh, congratulations, you know, all everything that I could ever imagine from this experience. And, you know, it's just been, like you said, the past 24 hours has just been incredible. And, um, you know, I, I could have never imagined this, obviously, but uh, I'm really, really, truly thankful that this is where uh, I, you know, I could represent UC Davis in this um, endeavor, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. So I love you all. I love this university, and it's really been uh, so amazing and so much fun. And uh, I just can't wait to see, uh, you know, where the next um, couple weeks leads me. You know, obviously something uh, this big doesn't happen all that often, and it, and it's really fun to see uh, our department um, show up to to be here to enjoy this and to celebrate this um, because the, the support that we have in this UC Davis community is incredible. It's a big family and I know everybody uh, is so excited for you um, and, and for your journey. Um, and so I'm just uh, thrilled beyond belief, you know. Um, this is something that we've been talking to Morgan about for the last couple of years. Um, and and what, it, what her path looks like and, and what it would take to try to put herself in a position um, to be one of 36 players in the world to be selected in this year's WNBA draft. Um, and I had the opportunity to watch her over the last couple of years um, continue to look at her game and say, how can I get better? How can I elevate my game? And to go from a player her freshman year where she was um, you know, extremely efficient by the basket to, um, you know, working out, uh, stepping out and becoming a mid-range shooter to this year becoming a 50% three-point shooter um, to be a, an explosive player on the perimeter able to attack the basket. Um, it's just a testament to the work that she's put in um, and the commitment that, that she has to being great. Uh, and that's something that is very unique about this individual. She not only talks about wanting to be great, she puts the work into that. And the exciting thing is that she still has an incredibly high ceiling. We feel like she can continue to get better and better, and that's why uh, the future is so exciting for her. Um, I feel like she's going to be, she was an unbelievable collegiate player, breaking pretty much every record here at UC Davis, and I think she's going to be an incredible professional player as well. So congratulations, Morgan. We're so proud of you. Um, thanks again, everybody, for being here. I think that when I look at the kind of role that I can have in the WNBA, it's it's definitely not going to be down low, um, you know, banging bodies with all the big posts down there. Um, you know, it's it's definitely going to be something where uh, I might play on the perimeter a lot more than I have um, here at Davis. It might be uh, something where I'm, you know, playing more of the four position, maybe even stepping out to the three, um, like to the three position, just because I've been able to, um, you know, as Jen was saying, step out, hit the threes, be able to drive from the perimeter. It's opened up a lot of opportunities for me um, in, in how I'd be able to be successful in the WNBA. So it's definitely going to be a, a little bit of an adjustment going against, um, you know, bigger, taller, more athletic people. But um, I, I think it's just that, though, it's going to be an adjustment. And I think that, um, you know, there's going to be people who say that it's going to be pretty tough, and it probably will be. But it's, um, you know, I've been all about adjustments my entire career. So I'm just looking forward to that's just one more thing that, you know, I'm going to have to uh, figure out. So we were, I was actually at her house. We were uh, watching the draft. and. Um, you know, I, I got a text from my agent actually before I saw it on screen, and it said congratulations. And I was like, I don't know what this means. <laughs> I haven't seen anything on TV. What's happening? And then she got a text as well. And so then, you know, two seconds later, it popped up on screen because they had been on like a commercial break or something like that. <laughs> but so it popped up on screen, and obviously, we it was crazy. <laughs> you know, just so much excitement, hugs, yelling, screaming, crying, all the emotions you could ever imagine. That kind of moment. Um, and then, obviously, all the phone calls started pouring in from all my family and friends, all my teammates, um, so many texts. And just. Um, and then, you know, my agent had told me before, um, if you do get drafted, be aware that they'll, like, you might get a number that you don't know. You have to make sure you answer it so that <laughs> it's probably going to be someone pretty important. And so then, um, yeah, obviously, unknown m number popped up on screen. So I was like, obviously, this has to be someone official. And I answered the phone, and it was, it was Pretty cool to, you know, I got a call from the president of, you know, the Wings organization. That's 
pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, it was definitely um, a really awesome, heart was pounding, I was just so excited. It's, like I said, it's a once in a lifetime thing and it was just really amazing, that moment. You know, I've had teammates and coaches that are telling me um, for a while now that this was a possibility. And you know, I could sit here and tell you that, of course I knew this was gonna be what <laughs> happened. But um, you know, I think it was um, at the start of this year, I um, kind of set that as a possibility for myself and kind of like a little goal. Um, you know, it's, it's not, I'm not gonna say, oh, it's something I've been striving for, for forever. You know, it's just something that as the success started to build up, as we were doing so well as a team, as I was still progressing, um, you know, uh, getting so much better in both my game and develop how we were developing as a team, it was kind of, uh, it got a little more real, um, especially as the season was going on, I was, as I uh, got to see how well I was performing, um, you know, definitely at the end when we made it to the NCAA tournament, and then it's just, it, it had just been a culmination of things, just, you know, this is, now something that's definitely a possibility for me. And so, you know, especially when I uh, traveled and went to the, um, the combine last weekend, um, you know, it was definitely getting real. It, it's, <laughs> it's um, and so I think that up until, you know, what, last night, I w it was still something that I wasn't sure was gonna happen for me. And so that to see my name on screen, it was kind of like, wow. You know, I had set, I had set some goals for myself throughout the season. And to be honest, I think I achieved every <laughs> one of them, which is pretty like pretty amazing. And I think that that, I don't know, it's just, it, it, it still blows my mind. I, it doesn't really seem real that um, it actually happened. I knew back in high school, obviously. <laughs> um, clearly we were the only ones that offered obviously. you a scholarship, so we knew that was happening. But I mean, I think that says a lot, you know, um, about this one here to go from uh, having one Division One scholarship offer to be a, a WNBA draft pick uh, is pretty incredible. Um, you know, the second she arrived on campus and started practicing, and we saw the efficient efficiency that she played with, uh, we knew that she was going to be special. Um, over the last couple of years, when she started really expanding her game, um, and and we saw how she could really. You know, we saw the vision for her playing a three, um, you know, playing a, a stretch four. You know, she guards the one through five for us. You know, we, we switch a lot of things and she picks up small guards and, and, and does that really, really well. Um, so I think it was, you know, probably just because so early in her career, we're not thinking about that as much, but over the, the course of the last two years, it's definitely something that we've been talking about a lot. And, um, you know, I, um, Joe Terramoto, Des Abeda, they work with her in the post every single day. Um, and, you know, and, and this year, basically, as a staff, we said, okay, well, she's pretty good down there. And uh, Matt Clemen works with the guards. And they said, all right, Matt, you know, you're going to take her every day and, and you're going to basically do the, the pre practice guard workout um, and, and start to develop those skills. So we saw all the, that, that whole skill set start to evolve. Um, and, and, you know, as a staff, we, we look at Morgan and say, there's just not that many players out there that are like her, you know, that have the size, the length, the athleticism, um, the ability to shoot the ball as well as she does. Um, on top of that, she's so smart, you know, she, you tell her two things about an opponent and she's taking those two things away. Um, you know, so the, the brain combined with the instincts combined with the athleticism and the skill level is pretty unique. Um, so I, I started reaching out to some WNBA coaches um, at the beginning of this year, and uh, by the time we got to the combine, I mean uh, most teams were well aware of her, and uh, you know seemed to know how well she had done, and uh, seemed to know her game, and so we were really hopeful uh, that somebody would understand what a special person and player that she is, and would give her that opportunity. Um, and obviously, we're extremely thrilled uh, when we saw the announcement last night. I mean, obviously, I think the goals or the achievements that I'm the most proud of from being here was, um, you know, our our, turn our championships. Quite honestly, I mean, it's it's you know, you can go down the line and look at the things that I've been able to do uh, as an individual, but the things that I think are the most impressive and the things that I cherish the most are, um, you know, what we've been able to accomplish as a team. Um, you know, three three regular season titles in a row is something that hasn't been done in a very long time. And 
I think that just goes to show, you know, the type of program that we have here, the type of coaching staff that we have here, and how um, how amazing it is. And I think it's something that's very special. And um, you know, obviously coming into this year, that tournament title was something that I still hadn't done yet, and it was uh, definitely on the top of my list. And so to be able to check that off as well, and then now um, being drafted to check that off, and it's just, I mean, it's just been an amazing ride. And like I said before, I'm so thankful that it's been at Davis because I couldn't imagine a place that's that could be any better.